This is an interview with Sergeant Nelson Delgado, who served in the Marine Corps with Lee Harvey Oswald. Sergeant Delgado appeared as a witness before the Warren Commission. Sergeant, prior to your Warren Commission testimony, were you interviewed by agents of the FBI? Yes, they came to my home in South Jersey to interview me. First two visits, <clears throat> they came just to get my story, what I knew about Oswald, how close we were, and things like that. After that, then they started, the questions were tending to break my story down. Sergeant, where are you now stationed? Down in one of the missile sites in uh, South Jersey. have been there since prior to the assassination of Kennedy. I've uh, been here now for three years, and this month, the 20th to be exact, I'm leaving for uh, Vietnam. When did you first meet Oswald? Uh, just prior to the Christmas of 1958, <clears throat> Lee uh, Oswald reported into our unit. Oswald and I got along very good together. We were, like I said, working the same jobs. Involving aircrafts and radar, we uh, controlled them from the ground and uh, ran intercepts. We were about uh, 40 enlisted men that really participated in this job. All of us knew Lee, and he knew all of us. We got along fine. Uh, we had uh, discussions. Was Oswald interested in guns? They say he was a gun enthusiast, but uh, I recall many instances where we stood inspections and he was constantly being gigged uh, for having a dirty weapon and then taking improper care of his weapon. He was always reminded when he had to clean the weapon. Never took it upon himself to do so. Do you have personal knowledge of Oswald's ability with a rifle? At the range, he didn't. He, he couldn't prove by me that he was a good shot. As any person who's ever served in the armed forces could tell you, there's a part in the qualification that calls for rapid firing. This is done with ten shots. Eight in a clip and two that you load by hand. They give you maybe 30 or 45 seconds to be exact to fire these ten rounds. Well, when you fire these, then you stand away from your from your firing position until everyone has finished firing. Then the targets are brought down and scored. The targets are run back up and they're dissed for the number that you have hit. Fives, fours, threes, or misses. Well, in Oswald's particular case, it was quite funny to, to look at because he would get a couple of discs, maybe out of the possible ten, he'll get two or three Maggie's drawers. Now, these are a red flag that's on a long pole, and this is running from left to right on the target itself. And you don't see this on the firing line too often, not the Marine firing line. And it's... We, you, could, you can't help but notice it when you're seeing discs, round cylinder uh, things coming up and down, and farther on down the line you see a flag waving. Well, that was going to catch your eye anyway. And we thought it was funny that Oswald was getting these magazine drawers so rapidly, one after the other. And this is why I can't say, uh, think that he would be a, a good shot, because a good shot doesn't pull this. He'll pull a three, but he won't pull a magazine drawer. It's a complete miss. How did the FBI react to your statement that Oswald was a poor shot? They tried to disprove this. They did not like the idea when I came up with uh, the statement that Oswald, as far as I knew, Oswald was, was a very poor shot. Do you feel that the agents of the FBI actually tried to get you to change your statement that Oswald was a poor shot? Yes, sir, I definitely do.